Hi. In this video, I would like to explain the concept of magnification for a simple microscope. In the beginning, we don't use a microscope and we look at an object as it is with the bare eye. That will clarify the concept of near point. The object, which is a red arrow here, is placed at a critical distance d. If the arrow is closer than that, the eye will not be able to focus on it clearly. For a normal human being, the near point should be 25 centimeters away from the eye lens. Now at the near point, the eye sees the image of this object as tall as it can get. So we can say that this is the optimal point for magnification using our bare eye. And uh, magnification instantly here is one because arrow and its image coincide. Now the angle subtended by the arrow at the eye is tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side, that is h by d, and that tends to theta naught, so we have theta naught is h by d. Now we insert a convex lens between the eye and the object, so we have a microscope here, a simple microscope. On top of that, we do a second thing. We move the arrow towards the convex lens and station it at a distance Fe from the convex lens. Fe, incidentally, is the focal length of the eyepiece. E stands for eyepiece. Since the object now is exactly at the focal length of this convex lens, the rays coming out from the convex lens after refraction are parallel and therefore the image is also formed at the same angle. So the angle subtended by the image is equal to angle subtended by the object and that's theta 1. And theta 1 is now equal to h by Fe if you look at the triangle h being the opposite side and Fe being the adjacent side for that angle. Therefore, we have the image magnified as compared to the previous situation where the image was exactly at a distance d from the eye. So angular magnification is the new angle subtended theta 1 by the previous angle subtended theta naught. So that becomes h by Fe by h by d and that works out as d by Fe. And this d by Fe is valid only for an object placed exactly at the focal length of the convex lens eyepiece. Suppose we want even higher magnification. The trick here is to move the object even closer to the convex lens. You can see here that the red arrow is now at a distance u2 marked in blue from the convex lens and u2 is shorter than Fe. What happens here is that the rays coming out from the convex lens on the other side diverge and if we place our eye there the image will converge as shown by the orange vertical erect image and that image should form at a distance d. The condition for this equation is that we must manage the image to be formed at the near point distance d. So we have to keep moving the arrow uh, object till we get the image exactly at d. That means we can't see the image any taller than this. With this condition being met, the angle subtended by the object now is theta 2 is h by u2 and that's also the angle subtended by the image theta 2. Therefore, we have the magnification, the angular magnification as the new angle subtended by the image theta 2 divided by the previous angle subtended theta naught without any microscope that becomes h by u2 divided by h by d that's d by u2. Now it can also be derived that this magnification is equal to 1 plus d by Fe. So we have an additional 1 here. So therefore we are getting a higher magnification than when the object was placed at the focal length. I hope this presentation was clear. Thanks and have a great day.